Hello everyone, my name is Eric and welcome to my YouTube channel. This episode is kind of different because I won't be doing any tutorials on Figma. I'm just gonna show you how I customize my iPhone screen with this iOS icons. All right, so this is what the standard looking iPhone screen looks like. You've got your icons and then you've got your wallpaper and then you have a few other icons at the bottom. Now, this is assuming you have already downloaded the icon pack from anywhere or from the links that I made. You download them and put them in, in your photos folder. So, assuming that in your photos folder, you already have your matching wallpaper and you have the icons to use. Alright? So, what we do first is actually, we go to settings. Okay, I'm just gonna go back and show you that we're gonna click on wallpaper, choose a new wallpaper, and like I said, you go to the recent photos or the photos where the wallpaper you want to use are. Okay, select one. And then just uh, pinch it a bit to move and scale and then set both. There you go. You have your new wallpaper. Now, the next thing to do is you go to shortcuts. Click on shortcuts icon. Click the plus sign at the top right. Click Add a new shortcut, Instagram, add action, scripting, and then open an app. And then try to find the app that you want to open with it. So in our case, it's Instagram. So I'm going to search Instagram. And that's it. I now have a scripting to open Instagram. The next thing to do is to add add a shortcut icon to it in the home screen. So I click add to home screen and then look for the icon to use. There you go, I see Instagram. I choose it and I opted to just delete the name. And that's it, you're done. The shortcut icon is now on your screen. You just have to move it. It's now in the home screen, so you just have to move it in front on the first page. There you go. Then the original Instagram app short uh, icon, you just have to put it in your library. Don't delete the app, just move it to the app library. And that's it. You already have your Instagram icon. You can add another shortcut, let's say photos, add actions, Click on scripting again, click on open an app. Basically your script is to open an app and then you find the app that you want to open. Then photos and that's it. Next thing again to do is click on the three dots, add the home screen, select the photo, click the small photo at the bottom, not the big one. Choose. And then just, you can keep the shortcut name too, but mine to just make it minimal, I opted for one without a shortcut name. So the text doesn't appear. That's the difference there. There you go. And then you just move it. Remove the, remove the app or remove it from the home screen. It doesn't delete that anyway. Then you go and replace it with the icon. And that's it. If you want to try it for the call or the phone, again, create another shortcut. Name it as phone. Seems I already have phone. Yeah, when I, I did it already, so I'll just rename it phone call. Add action again. Click on scripting. Script to open an app and phone. Okay, uh, click on the three dots previously and then add to home screen. Click the small icon, not the big one in the middle. 
choose the phone icon click add and you're done that was the same step and then you again just move it in the front there you go that's how the custom customized screen looks like but the important thing is that your wallpaper and your icons must match so that you have that certain feel that's it have fun